and welcome to this new session on Kendall's tau correlation coefficient. This Kendall's tau correlation coefficient is used to address some research questions such as is the tau correlation coefficient between two variables significantly different from zero. When I say significantly different from zero means it is somewhere between one and minus one. It is not zero. That is to say the two variables are correlated that is to say they have a strong association so if it is closer to one that is a positive association and if it is closer to minus one it is a negative association and when do we apply we apply this Kendall's tau correlation coefficient to test null hypothesis of zero tau correlation between two variables that is to say when I say the null hypothesis is tau equals zero that is to say there is no relation between two variables. Number two, the sample consists of a paired random sample of ordinal or ranked data. Okay, this is a paired sample, paired random sample. It should be either ordinal or ranked. Number three, when the data is continuous, okay, it in case let us say if it is not ordinal or ranked, or when it is not scaled uh, scale kind of data or categorical data it can be the ratio or interval but it is not reasonable or unreasonable to assume that the variables are normally distributed okay so there is no uh, logic or reason to assume that the variables are normally distributed then fourth point is the relationship between the variables is assumed to be linear so we test this correlation with tau, tau correlation coefficient when we assume that the variables are uh, linear okay the relationship is linear <coughs> now for this example i'll be using a data file that is from the mass package okay the file is survey so if you just want to see this data this is how the data looks like okay i've just taken the head of it that is the first six rows or observations so the gender is provided okay and various other uh, variables are provided to you what i'm going to consider over here is these two variables exercise and smoke okay i would like to see is there any correlation between or is there any relationship between a significant relationship between exercise and smoke okay so let's go ahead and see now i will consider n1 would be the number of students student pairs with different smoking habits n2 would be the number of student pairs with different exercise practice levels okay so n1 different smoking habits n2 different exercise levels we say that two variables exercise and smoke in the data set are uncorrelated if their correlation coefficient is zero right that's quite obvious so let's go ahead and uh, get into the activity part now what i'm trying to do is converting these factors into numeric okay we know that smoke and exercise they are factors <coughs> we can you know uh, easily check for example let us say class survey dollar exercise for instance okay so we say it's a factor okay the same would be case with your other variable that is smoke so first the step that i'm doing is i'm converting them into numeric so as dot numeric these this is a variables and these are the levels in those factors now i'm creating a new data file called m okay you can give any name of your choice i apply c bind to bind these columns and a new data frame would be created so the new data frame with only two columns that is m it has only two columns that is exercise and smoke okay now let's see mm, for example let us say i check the structure of m okay so m has 
some numbers numeric okay and uh, two columns and uh, 237 observations and it has been uh, the dummy variables have been created as dot numeric so they have been converted into two and one and all this is what i was trying to do now if i just want to know the correlation coefficient i'll clear this console for you so now if i just want to uh, find the correlation coefficient or that kendall's tau so i can simply write cor and i get my correlation matrix okay so i can see the correlation between exercise and exercise is 1 correlation between exercise and smoke is 0 0.083 okay the same thing uh, the correlation between smoke and exercise is 0 0.083 and the correlation between smoke and smoke is 1 that's quite obvious so now let us do the hypothesis testing okay now in order to decide whether the variables are uncorrelated we have a null hypothesis where tau b as we call technically tau b is equal to zero and alternative hypothesis is that the variables are correlated that is tau b is non-zero so the basic technique that the function that i use is core dot test okay my variables exercise and smoke okay and the method is, method is candles so when i run this okay i have my tau estimates and i have my entire output the data that is exercise and smoke and you can see the p value is 0 0.1709 which is quite greater than 0 0.05 0 0.05 is the threshold for p value if it exceeds that okay i'll come to that in a short span now we say that the alternate hypothesis okay that is tau is not equal to zero because tau is somewhere 0 0.083 okay that's quite high now it's not zero and when i say p value is 0 0.017 which is quite high than uh, greater than 0 0.05 we are not in a position to reject the null hypothesis okay we won't reject the null hypothesis reason being this could be a case of chance okay if it had been less than 0 0.05 that could have been statistically significant but in our case it's not such okay so this could be a case of chance so we are not going to reject the null hypothesis Hope you have enjoyed the video, you found it useful, then like, share and do subscribe to my channel to keep yourself updated with the new statistical techniques and tools. Thank you for watching. Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. Oh, 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 oh,